News Channel 7, time for 7 First Alert Weather. Let's talk temperatures across the nation right now before we hone in on the gem state. Phoenix finally getting just a little bit of a break from the scorching heat that has been baking that city for the last month. This is the first time at 107 that it looks like Phoenix is not going to touch 110 degrees for the first time in the month of July. Each and every afternoon they've been at least 110 or hotter. It doesn't look like they'll get there today or tomorrow, but then the heat will start scorching everyone again in southern Arizona. So kind of puts our 91 degree high so far in Boise and just a little bit of perspective. We've had cloud cover lingering for much of the day over the Boise area, so that has kept a lid on the heat potential for this afternoon. We were at 99 yesterday, so it likely, likely feels a little bit better out there. It's more sunny in Twin Falls, still 91 degrees there, 81 in McCall, just gorgeous on Payette Lake right now, and Sun Valley has now hit 90 degrees with some clouds popping up in the Central Mountains as well. So to remind you, it is our final day of July. Typically, we round out the month around 95 degrees. It looks like we will have a below average end to the month. Nowhere near that record of 109 degrees. Sunset, by the way, at 908. We are losing more and more daylight as those sunset times get earlier and earlier. It doesn't look like we will tack on any precipitation in Boise, so nothing measurable as far as rainfall goes for the month of July. We'll have a full wrap up of the month tomorrow when it is officially in the books and in our rearview mirror. So as we look at our satellite and radar picture, you can see some storms and showers popping up east of Twin Falls relative dry for our neck of the woods in southwest Idaho. Remember too, those fire weather warnings still uh, in effect for portions of the uh the mountains and the forest just outside Sun Valley. So we are seeing high winds there. Still pretty dry conditions. That will be through at least 9 o'clock tonight, possibly further. We'll see if that gets extended. So big picture setup. We have high pressure to our south. That's where this moisture is kind of pinwheeling around it from southwest to northeast. And we'll continue to see that moisture streaming in even as this area of lower pressure starts skirting by to the north over the next couple of days. Could trigger some more thunderstorms a little further west. So Twin Falls by tomorrow afternoon could have some stray storms that looks more likely as the week progresses that the Central Mountains and then possibly by Thursday even the Treasure Valley could see some storm activity popping into the picture and temperatures will take a bit of a dip as well. In fact, by the end of the work week, we might see highs in portions of the Treasure Valley only in the upper 80s territory we've not been in in quite some time since early July. Fourth of July was our last day when we had high temperatures in the 80s here in Boise. So looking ahead to tomorrow, our first day of August, we'll start off in the low 90s in the Magic Valley. In the mountains, we'll see that mix of sun and clouds with mid 80s. And again, a chance of some stray storms late tomorrow in the Magic Valley. Storm chances hold off in the Treasure Valley until at least midweek. We'll be hot in Boise tomorrow, likely another triple digit day before those temperatures start to cool. Back down to 90 with storm chances by Thursday, hanging out in the upper 80s on Friday.